Hi, my name is Corey. Welcome to Tradewinds RV. Today I'm going to show you the Spree Superlight uh, 230 made by KZ. You can reach us for a sales price at 1-800-RV-OCALA. That's 1-800-786-2252. Like us on Facebook at Tradewinds RV Inc. and visit our webpage at www.tradewindsrv.com. The overall length of the 230 RBS is 24 feet 9 inches with a width of 8 feet. Your exterior height, including your AC, is 11 feet 2 inches and interior height is a massive 6 feet 10 inches. Your unloaded vehicle weight is going to be around 4,800 pounds with a dry hitch weight of around 590 pounds. Your carrying capacity is also around 1,100 pounds. Alright, starting on the front of the 230 RBS, some of your features, you have your uh, manual tongue jack right here. Um, behind that's two 30 pound propane tanks uh, instead of the two 20 pounds, so you're going to have a 60 pound LP capacity on here. Also included is the automatic changeover regulator. With your purchase, you're going to get a 24 series deep cycle auxiliary battery. Um, behind this, you'll notice your uh, diamond plate rock guard to help increase the structural integrity of your RV and uh, hold resale value. you notice a nice courtesy light located right behind the LP tanks, uh, so if you're hooking up at night, uh, you can see what you're doing. Moving further down the side of the 230 RBS, located on each corner, you're going to have uh, scissor jacks for stabilization while you're parked. Um, moving to your exterior storage, you have a pass-through storage right here. It's accessible from either side of your RV. You have a nice courtesy light in there for when it's nighttime so you're able to see what you're doing. You notice your 26-inch uh, Sansui TV located right there as well. A fiberglass sidewall with a multicolor stripe. Um, you have an electric awning. It's a 14-foot awning. It does have an LED strip on the exterior. Um, Right here is going to be your fresh water connection. That's where you fill up your fresh water tank. Uh, your suburban furnace, this is exhaust is right here. You have tandem axles on this RV, for rated for, each rated for 3,500 pounds. Um, two 110 volt outlets are located right here. Your suburban water heater is going to be located right here. That's how you access that. And above that, you'll notice the uh, access point for your refrigerator if you need to get it serviced. Here we are on the back side of the 230 RBS. Uh, right here you'll notice your city water connection. Next to that's going to be your black water uh, flush where you'll hook up to flush out your black water tank. Your utility showers and exterior showers located right in there. Um, you'll notice on your reinforced steel bumper it's going to be a, a spare tire and carrier. It does have a cover to keep it out of the weather. It's also appealing to the eye. Um, your cable input is located right here. When you're at the campground you need cable services. That's where you'll hook up to it. If you take a look at the roof, you noti notice that it is crowned. Uh, it's going to help for water runoff. You have four water spouts on the either side. And that little uh, doodad up there is actually a plumbing vent. Uh, so when you are using running water throughout your RV, it's not going to uh, be as loud. It's going to decrease the noise on there. Located on the back left side of this RV, you will notice uh, some more exterior storage right here uh, where you can store your 30 amp supply cord. Um, Here's where you're going to hook up to power at a campground. You also have another courtesy light right here. If you'll move down, you'll notice your waste dump station. Uh, this RV is self-contained. Your water tanks are as follows, a 40-gallon fresh water and a 32-gallon gray and black water. Let's move down. You will notice a nice uh, 10, round 10-foot 10 slide right here. It's really going to open up the interior. You'll see it uh, when we go inside. And here's the other access uh, point for the pass-through storage that I mentioned before. That concludes my exterior walkthrough of the 230 RBS located here at Trade Winds RV. I'm going to take you inside now, show you around just a little bit further. Uh, for this nice small travel trailer, you will notice there's a three step entry point, which makes it really easy on you while you're walking inside. Uh, very standard screen door combo here uh, with a nice big access handle uh, so you have a, a firm grip while you're going up inside your RV. Let's, uh, let's go inside and look around. All right, starting inside the 230 RBS, I'm going to take you in the bathroom, show you around. As you notice, separated by a door. Um, as we walk in, you notice a nice big vanity there. Um, also, quite a bit of storage and hanging space located right there. It's a very deep space. Um, over here will be another nice little storage uh, for toiletries. Um, your water heater control is going to be right here, uh, where you can control switch it, switching it from gas to electric. Also, your, uh, your, your monitor panel for your uh, fresh black and gray water tanks and also turning on your water pump. You notice the toilet right there with your hand flush. Uh, sink inside the bathroom is very nice. Over here you would notice a nice big shower with a curtain and you also have uh, spaces to put your conditioner and shampoo. Okay let's move on. Oh I didn't show you the storage down here. There's also storage underneath the sink. Alright let's move on out. Take you into the kitchen. You should notice right here uh, very popular brand is your Nordcold refrigerator. It's 6.3 cubic feet. It's a fridge freezer combo. As you notice, it's got five different temperature settings and uh, also can be switched from electric to gas. You have a nice little pantry space located right here. Down below as well. More or less access to the back of your water heater. Your carbon monoxide detector is located right next to that. 
Um, here's your suburban uh, oven. Three burner stove, you have a high output burner located in the front. You have your range with exhaust fan and light. Above that's your high point microwave. I believe it's a 1.35 kilowatt microwave with a carousel in the middle. Uh, moving over, your 6040 sink with an insert uh, to give you a little bit extra counter space. A nice high faucet with a gunmetal finish. Um, you have storage overhead for dishes, dishware. And beneath you have some more storage underneath that sink. Also nice full extension drawers here. Let's move around to the other side and I'll show you how to access the other storage. Okay, now we're moving over this way. You have your Coleman Mach thermostat right here. This is where you're going to control the temperature of your 13.5 BTU air conditioning that does have ducted air. Below that, you'll notice your Jensen Multimedia Player. It's going to play your DVD, CDs, uh, has a USB input and auxiliary. Um, you also have some space down here. Uh, you put, you put uh, you know, movies and stuff. Your breaker panel is located right here. Moving up, included with your purchase, your 26-inch Sansui TV. You also have storage overhead. All right, now let's move over to the slide. The U-shaped dinette is a very nice dinette, appealing to the eye. It has uh, cup holders on either side, um, and it does convert into a bed. You've also got storage underneath that where you can access uh, right through here. This is a nice pull-out drawer. Um, and also over here, you'll notice a, a cabinet door uh, to where you can access the storage underneath. Um, you do have to take the cushions off if you'd like to access the storage on the back of that side. Okay, um, moving into the bedroom, um, there is a very nice open floor plan for a, for a smaller RV. Um, your emergency exit is located right here. Your TV backer location is right here. You have 110 volt service as well as cable input. Um, moving over here for your storage, you have hanging space on this side and overhead storage as well. You can see in there. Your TV antenna is a manual crank located right here. Um, you do have a, a vent over your bed as well uh, that you can open up for airflow. Uh, with hydraulics, with hydraulic jacks here, you are able to access the storage that's underneath your bed. This is a queen size bed. That's very nice, it's gonna be pretty spacious. Um, also for safety, you have a uh, fire extinguisher located right there with a smoke alarm located right here. That concludes my walkthrough of the KZ Spree Superlight 230 RBS. If you have any questions or would like a sales price, give us a call at 1-800-RV-OCALA. That's 1-800-786-2252. Find us on Facebook at Tradewinds RV Inc. Go to our webpage at www.tradewindsrv.com and follow our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we look forward to earning your business.